I formed a group within the NDP called End the Prohibition. And over the last year, we've traveled to NDP conventions all across Canada. Hi there, my name is Dana Larson, and welcome to the Vancouver Seed Bank Baker Lounge. We're just this is not your typical lounge, and Dana Larson isn't a typical political candidate. And we're just smoking some joints and having a good time. And but Inside, a little bit of acid left. I think it'll be enough for me to have a nice trip. But it would be his last trip with the NDP. Hi there. My name is Dana Larson. You might remember me from the Weedy Wednesday Smoke Fest or the 10 years I spent editing Canada's Culture magazine. But I'm here today to talk to you about Canada's New Democratic Party. Canada's New Democrats are the best hope for marijuana and drug policy reform in Canada today. And that's why I'm running as a candidate for the NDP in West Vancouver, Sunshine Coast, Sea to Sky Country. I used to belong to the Marijuana Party. Federally and provincially, I helped found the Canadian Marijuana Party and the BC Marijuana Party. But a few years ago, I switched to the NDP, and I've been seeing more success with my work in the NDP than anything else I've done before in the political arena. So here's what you can do to help. Anywhere in Canada, you should get together and join the NDP. Find out who the NDP candidate is in your riding, and find out what their views on drug policy are. You'll be pleasantly surprised to find out that the majority of NDP candidates and NDP members across Canada support drug policy reform. I formed a group within the NDP called End the Prohibition. And over the last year, we've traveled to NDP conventions all across Canada. The NDP is a party that has a presence in every province as well as on the federal scene. And we've been working within the provincial NDP parties to get them also to strongly support marijuana and drug policy reform. And if you go to the End Prohibition website at www.endtheprohibition.ca, You'll be able to read about the success we've had passing resolutions in British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Nova Scotia, and the Federal Convention in Quebec, where we have made the NDP more formally supportive of drug policy issues and brought them on board and helped to educate them about the importance of this issue. And the fact that the NDP has accepted me as a candidate, someone who's very outspoken on marijuana policy issues and has made a career out of educating and teaching people about the issues surrounding marijuana, it's a very good sign for the NDP and for politics in this country. So right. this is very important that we get some people from the NDP, more people from the NDP into power in this country. The NDP is the only party with a consistently strong position to end the war on drugs, to legalize marijuana, and to change drug policy in this country for the better. The Liberals had many years, many decades in power in Canada where they are promising to decriminalize or change the marijuana laws any minute now. And yet every day under their regime we saw marijuana arrests go up. We've seen more and more strict laws come in place. And now that the Conservatives are in power in Canada, we're seeing the introduction of some truly scary laws. The is the only party position to, to make a change and to fight against these laws and to d introduce reasonable, proper decriminalization and legalization in Canada. So I need your help. If I can get elected in this election or the next, that will be the best possible thing that Canada's marijuana and drug reform movement could see. So please visit me online at mprohibition.ca and find out what you can do to help volunteer with my campaign, to help join the NDP, and to help end the war on drugs in Canada. Thank you for your support. The NDP campaign has been upstaged by accusations of a deal struck between marijuana activist Mark Emery and the party. Emery says in 2003, he and Jack Layton agreed to bring BC Marijuana Party members into the NDP fold. The NDP are denying any such deal, but Emery says the alleged plan was broken this week when NDP candidates Dana Larson and Kirk Tuso were pressured to step down.